kids, welcome to PCIS Kids Ramadan Edition. I'm so glad everyone is watching and enjoying these weekly online experiences from home. Now, think about what you do when you want to get good at something. You practice, practice, practice. Now, fasting is a great practice to challenge ourselves to be the best we can be and do the best we can do. Now everyone, let's say discipline yourself on three. One, two, three. Discipline yourself. Super. Now let's listen to Anin as she explains how Ramadan is an opportunity to be disciplined and put Allah first. Salam everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to prepare ourselves for Ramadan. If you play any type of sport or do any competitions, you know that before the competition begins, you need to warm up. You have to stretch and get your body ready so that when the main event comes, you're ready to win. So during this time, we have to keep talking about Ramadan and reminding ourselves about Ramadan in order to build up that mood and that healthy environment. Allah wants us to reach our potential in Ramadan. He doesn't want us to live lives that are distracting and not invested in doing what we do the best. He wants us to push ourselves so that we can reach the next level and attain the most in this life and the hereafter. Imagine if we didn't have Ramadan. When you feel Ramadan is coming up, you put in the extra effort and you keep moving up so that every single year, Allah is pushing us higher and harder to worship Him in the best possible way. That opportunity and gift is there. It's the extra push to put Allah first so that we can have a better relationship with Him. I want to share a few points of the blessings of Ramadan with you. Allah says, O oh, you who believe, written upon you is fasting as it was written upon those before you so that you may attain consciousness of God. This is a call to believers to pay attention. Do you know what's going on right here? Allah is telling us that fasting is written upon us because He wants us to achieve the next level of clarity. This fasting that we are doing is not specific to us Muslims. This is something that has been historically founded. Every single group before us that has a divine, divine message has fasted at some point, maybe not during Ramadan, but they fasted to maintain and achieve this level of consciousness. One of the big issues that we have to avoid is what the Prophet warned us about when he said that maybe is that a person will fast during the day and they will get nothing out of that except hunger and thirst and maybe it's that they'll pray during the night and they get nothing out of that except tiredness. The reason is because they didn't do what they are actually supposed to do. They didn't have, they didn't leave bad language, they didn't leave lying, they didn't fix the way they deal with their parents. So what did they get from fasting? So the internal has to be changed in order for us to achieve our goals during this Ramadan. There's a lot of family traditions that can be established and you can get together with your family and do a lot better. Thinking and giving up isn't good enough. You have to practice if you want to get good results, especially when it comes to living Allah's way. Allah is giving us this fasting as the means by which we celebrate the Quran. So we recognize that the Quran is how we become better Muslims. Ramadan is the month of Quran. Today's Quran verse talks about that. Let's say it together. يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون أياما معدودات فمن كان منكم مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر وعلى الذين يطيقونه فدية طعام مسكين فمن تطوع خيرا فهو خير له وَأَن تَصُومُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ Wow, you will all be way more excited to do good deeds this Ramadan and stay away from distractions. Now, let's answer the questions from today's lesson. Person next to 
next to you and tell them, get close to Allah. We know that this Ramadan may be different at home, but we can choose to focus on making the best of it. With Allah's help, we can have an amazing quarantine Ramadan together. Let's make dua together. Oh Allah, thank you for giving us the month of Ramadan to get closer to you. Thank you for giving us the Quran to keep our souls strong and healthy. Please, give us understanding as we read the Quran and help us to obey what it says.